Hi, so I am here again with another brand review, this time from Fresh Skin, as suggested by Sadie Marie over here in our Using Essential Oils Safely group. So let me go ahead and click on the link she provided. Okay, so we have lavender essential oil. Um, I don't know how much money this translates into, but that is really inexpensive for 100 mil. That is very, very inexpensive. Um, let's take a look. Pure lavender. Um, Bubblegum fragrance oil. Let's take a look at lemon essential oil. Lemon essential oil should have a flag for being phototoxic. Let's look at their additional information. I'm not really seeing any safety information listed here at all. Um, it is cold pressed, so this definitely should be flagged for phototoxicity. Um, if it was steam distilled, then I could see why it didn't have that on here. Um, but let's go ahead and look at essential oils, organic essential oils. Let's look at their page. Looks like they are out of stock on some of these, on a lot of these. <laughs> um, sort by ones that are actually in stock, perhaps? Looks like they are out of stock on a lot. Okay, well that's okay, because I can still check out the safety. Um, fennel essential oil is potentially carcinogenic. I'm not seeing that here. Ooh, at least, okay, so the cautions they have is it should, should not be avoided in large doses. Should not be avoided in large doses. How about should be avoided in large doses as it can have a narcotic effect. Um, psychotropic is for nutmeg, but a narcotic effect for fennel, maybe. It shouldn't be used during pregnancy, which is correct. So it looks like they do have a caution area. Let's see if they have any cautions here. Should be used in dilution and avoided during pregnancy. Well, eucalyptus is pregnancy safe. So I don't know about that. Bergamot is phototoxic as well. Let's see if they list that here. Cautions, bergamot essential oil can cause severe burns when applied to sensitive skin. Hey, Sherry. Um, it's not just sensitive skin. Any skin that bergamot essential oil is um, used on, if not properly diluted to 0.4%, can cause phototoxic burns when exposed to UV light. To be more precise, let's take a look at spearmint needs to be used in a really low dilution. Let's see if they mention that here. No cautions for spearmint at all. Let's see if they have any cautions for Spanish rosemary. Spanish rosemary. Let's see what botanical name they are using. Rosmarinus officinalis. They don't have a chemotype here though. No cautions. This should be ages 10 plus due to the high 1,8 cineol. Peppermint should be ages six plus. Um, peppermint oil can be sensitizing due to its high menthol content. Well, it's not sensitizing per se because of menthol. Avoid during pregnancy, not true. So it looks like their safety information leaves a lot to be desired. Let's see if they have any blends. Um, not seeing any blends. Precious oil dilutions. Let's see what this is tomato leaf. That's interesting. Let's see. Absolutes, fragrance oils. Let's see if they have any blends. Not seeing any blends. So it looks like this brand, Fresh Skin, um, it looks like their focus is like skincare, candle making, soap making, all of that. It doesn't look like they're focused heavily on essential oils. Um, not saying they don't have good quality, but you would definitely want to grab a resource such as one of these that you can find at uvoslibrary.com 
to make sure that you are using the essential oils safely since they don't seem to have safety information on their profiles. A couple of them have cautions, which may or may not be accurate. Um, so you definitely want to rely on that yourself to make sure that you know what the safety is so that when you do purchase essential oils from this company or any other company that doesn't include safe and accurate um, safety information, then at least you know yourself how you can use it. So if you have any questions about anything that I've said during this review, if you have questions um, about any of the single essential oils that maybe I didn't click on, if you're wondering if the information contained therein is accurate or safe, please let me know and I will do my best to answer your questions as I see them. See you guys.